Welcome to the Tenergy channel, where we talk about all things related to power. In today's video, we're going to learn about how to charge, discharge, and store lithium-based battery packs using Tenergy's TB6V charger. This charger can recharge lithium polymer, lithium ion, and lithium iron phosphate battery packs between one to six cells. Each lithium-based program has its own settings, so it's important to select the correct program to match the battery chemistry you have to avoid damaging the battery pack. To do that, you'll first need to go to User Setting Program by pressing the Decrease button once and then pressing the Enter button to select it. At this screen, you can change the battery type between LiPo, Lithium Ion, and Lithium Iron Phosphate. Press Enter and press the Decrease button or Increase button to cycle through your options. The battery I'll use for our tutorial is a 7.4 volt, 1000 mAh LiPo battery pack. Since it's a LiPo chemistry battery pack, I'll select LiPo on screen and then press Enter to confirm my choice. Now, let's get back to the main menu by pressing the Mode button and start recharging this battery. There are three ways to recharge lithium-based battery packs, which are normal charging, balanced charging, and fast charging. Here are some few differences amongst the three modes. This charging mode shown here is usually for battery packs without a balance connector, or is a single cell battery pack, the balanced charge mode which is required for all LiPo or lithium iron phosphate battery packs with a balance connector. When balance mode is selected, you'll need to connect the battery's balance connector with the charger's balance port. Lastly, we have fast charging, which will charge without a balance connector like the normal mode, but it will shorten the charge time to reduce the end of the charging sooner, and the overall capacity that's charged will be less because of that. Since this battery pack is a LiPo and has a balance connector, I'll select balance charge to recharge it. To do that, I'll press the decrease and increase buttons to find the balanced charge mode, and then press enter to select it. Now I'll connect the battery's connectors to the charger. Make sure that the black and red wires are aligned, black to black and red to red. On the TB6B screen, you can see the value of the charge current blink. You can change it from 0.1 amp to 5 amp by pressing the decrease and increase buttons. To know which current to charge your battery at, you can follow this formula. Max charge current is equal to battery capacity in amp hours multiplied by 1C. This battery has a capacity of 1000 mAh, which equals to 1 amp hour. The maximum charge current will be 1 amp hour multiplied by 1C, giving us 1 amp. Please note that constantly charging the battery at its maximum charge current will produce a lot of stress for the battery and possibly damage it over time. So I'm going to choose to recharge this battery at 0.5 amp instead. Now press enter to go to the next screen. Here we can press the decrease and increase buttons to select the battery voltage and the number of cells count. This battery is a 7.4 volts with two cells, so I'll put that information in. Once I've confirmed the information is correct, I'll press and hold enter to start the charging process. Before the charger starts, it'll ask to confirm if the number of cells are correct and if they match. The letter R shows the number of cells detected by the charger and the letter S is the number of cells that we selected in the previous screen. If both numbers do not match, you'll need to go back and reselect the number of cells by pressing the mode button here. It's matching now, so I'll press enter to confirm. And the charger will start charging the battery. During charging, you'll be able to keep track of the charge current, battery's voltage, the charge time, and the charge capacity measured in milliamp hour. The charger alarm will go off for about 5-6 to six seconds when the battery is fully charged. We recommend removing the battery right after to avoid unnecessary contact. And that's it! We've successfully recharged the battery pack. Now let's cover how to discharge a battery pack. The discharging process is also similar to charging, except the discharge current will range from 0.1 amp to 1 amp. Please also note that lithium-based batteries don't need to be frequently discharged or deep discharged so only do so when necessary. And remember to charge it again after discharging to prevent over-discharging the battery. In the lithium battery program, press the decrease or increase buttons until you see the discharge mode. Press enter to select it. Adjust the discharge current by pressing the decrease and increase buttons. This value will be up to you to choose. The higher the discharge current, the faster the charger drains your battery. Since I'm not in a hurry, I'll select 0.2 amps. Press enter to go to the next setting and then press the decrease and increase buttons to choose the battery's voltage and number of cells count. Note that the voltage here is not the battery's nominal voltage, but the final voltage it will be discharged at. This battery has two cells, so I'll discharge to six volts. Press and hold start to start the discharge process. The operation screen is the same as the charging screen. 
It will show the charging current, the battery's voltage, the discharge time, and the discharge capacity measured in milliamp hour. The charger alarm will go off to let you know when it is done discharging the battery pack. Don't forget to let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes and recharge it again to avoid overheating and overdraining the battery pack. The next thing we're going to cover is how to charge your battery for storage. In storage mode, the charger will automatically charge or discharge your battery to about 40% of the battery pack's total capacity, which is the optimal state of charge to preserve lithium-based batteries. In the lithium battery program, press the decrease or increase buttons until you see storage mode. Press enter to select it. Now press the decrease or increase button to select the charge and discharge current you want the charger to charge or discharge at. The value will go from 0.1 amp to 1 amp. I'll select 0.5 amp for our example. Press enter to go to the next screen. Then press the decrease and increase buttons to select the battery's voltage and number of cell count. Again, this battery is a 7.4 volts with two cells. I'm gonna put that information in. Press and hold start to begin the process. The operation screen is also the same as the charging screen. When it's done, the charger alarm will go off to let us know that the battery pack is now at 40% capacity. Those are three main functions of Tenergy's TB6B charger and LiPo batteries. If you're curious to learn what else you can do with a TB6B charger, please subscribe to our channel. Got any additional questions that we didn't cover? Feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.